Hey guys, I'm in my shop and I'm testing the combustion on my newly cleaned boiler. So I did an annual service. I'm gonna show you a really cool combustion analyzer and how it all works. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is my boiler. It heats the floor in the building. The floor is the radiator for the whole space. It's such a beautiful, awesome system. Uh, and this is a high efficiency hydronic heating boiler. Okay, it's actually a combi boiler. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this thing kind of strapped to the front of it. What is this? This is a combustion analyzer. We're testing the, the, how the burner, how the boiler is operating for its efficiency, how it's burning the fuel being supplied to it by taking really cool samples of the flue gas out of the flue train as it, before it leaves the building, okay? So what does that mean? And why do we wanna do it? Well, it's pretty simple. We want to test efficiency and actually how equipment is operating for safety purposes. Safety being way more important than the efficiency. We could do that um, by following some directions. We're going to follow the directions in the manual. The manual for this Wiesman boiler tells you to use the actuator test mode that's built into the control. You're going to force this unit, this boiler into low fire, okay? I need it to be at its lowest input rating so we can just see, get a baseline and see how things are burning and operating while it's on its lowest uh, input. I do have to have that, that call for heat, okay? So I've got that call for heat happening. I can dissipate any heat the boiler is producing without overheating it, okay? And that's very important. So I've followed the instructions on the boiler. I've placed it into low fire mode using the actuator test uh, functions of its control. I've zeroed out my analyzer outside of the space. I've, I've got pumped into it clean air. Uh, and then I insert it into the flu passageway right here, okay? So it's my exhaust that the end of that wand, it's gonna be right about in the middle of the flu passageway. This little cone kind of allows it to sit in there tight against there when I'm pulling in air from the outside. Okay, so we turn the unit on. It's been analyzing it as it's burning. It's telling us a whole bunch of information, but what in the world does any of this mean? It's analyzing the oxygen levels in the flue gas. It's at six and a half percent, and it's kind of bounces a little bit all over the place. It's evening out right now because I had that wand out of the flue gas. You can see it dropping. Carbon monoxide, okay? There's 2.6 parts per million of carbon monoxide in the flue gas stream right now. Carbon dioxide, 8.6%. Efficiency, utilizing some math and equations, it's at 98.5%. That's crazy, right? And there's some other things like uh, difference in temperature of air going in, going out, things like that. All, all, all very useful information. Uh, and we can even get a chart view of that by pushing on this touch screen here. Okay, so now we've got all these different colors that correspond to a different value that is being measured and you can see it graphed. That doesn't really help me a lot because I will be completely honest with you. I'm not the foremost expert on combustion analysis. I say that I've done it many, many, I mean, dozens and dozens of times, but I don't have these numbers memorized. And for each piece of equipment, it's a little bit different. But what if I told you this Citron analyzer, the Novo analyzer, can do something unlike any other analyzer I've used in the past. And it's got this pro mode. See that right there on the touch screen? I'm gonna push it. And now it gives me these little green graphs, these little white pointers on it. It gives me this cool graph that shows CO2, oxygen, CO. It shows me some values that are being measured. And it's even graphing it all out. This is helpful and here I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna choose I'm gonna push choose equipment. It comes pre-loaded with a whole bunch of stuff. I actually put Wiesman in here, and why is that important? So you've got a 70% boiler, 80% boiler, atmospheric water heater, you've got a 70% of furnace, 80% furnace, 90% furnace. I put Wiesman in here. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna show you why it matters. See these green bars? They're gonna to transfer to that other screen, but these are all values that you input. I took numbers right out of the Wiesman manual for oxygen, CO, CO2, okay? These are the three values that they're gonna give me in the manual for the boiler, 
okay? I input those, and then when I select that as the piece of equipment I'm working on, it's going to tell me, with using these green bars and those little white pointers, as long as that white pointer is in the green bar, we're good to go. How cool is that? Now I don't have to know really what this means necessarily. This is all useful information. You will need to reference it. You will need to record this. But for a quicker look, and if you don't suspect your equipment isn't operating right, but and you land within all those greens, that means you've landed within the values that you've input into the analyzer that the boiler needs to be at. Now let's take a look at what it means. Like I'm going to pull that analyzer, um, the, the probe out of, of the flue gas. Okay. I'm just going to let the boiler continue to burn. All right. I'm going to just pull it out. And what happens is, is because that's a very long hose. It's like six, eight, 10 feet, something like that. It's pretty long. It's got to suck air through that all the way to the pump of the unit. And it's going to start showing us, Oh, those white, Pointers are no longer white, they're red. They're way off the charts, but what if I put it back in and allow that to pump through that hose back up to the unit? We're gonna start seeing these automatically adjust. Boy, they're still running. I didn't change anything. We're still on low uh, fire. And look at those, they're gonna turn white when they get into the green and boom. As long as those indicators, that's what it's currently measuring, those little spots on there. 6%, 5.8% O2, 2.2 parts per million CO. That's, in, it, that's so entirely low, it's insane. Okay, that, that number can go up to a couple hundred without real uh, problems. 100 easy, 200 still within reason. Um, not great, but the lower the better, right? My flue gas is measuring at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, CO2 at 8.6%. Everything is within the, the parameters that I have input based off of Wiesman's um, numbers they're looking for, for it to be operating properly. Now, if it weren't operating properly, you could adjust things like the gas at the valve, uh, gas input. But we don't need to make any adjustments. I just want to show you this function because... Well, that is cool, and obviously it's absolutely needed. This, to me, is worth the price of admission alone. It's a very nice screen, uh, seems to work really well. I can print results from it. Okay, I just hit print. Uh, only the second time I printed. I can't remember quite how long it takes. I think it takes, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna jam up, of course. There we go date time everything and we can save this record it usually i would i would recommend taking a photo of uh any printed out receipt of this you know reports if you're going to leave this if you're required to leave this in with the manual for inspection purposes what i would do is take a photo of that so you have a direct copy of it this is like heat uh paper i'm, I'm not i wouldn't rely on that forever and ever it will start to fade and become unreadable so anyway there you go the novo from citron and i gotta tell you this is a very nice fully featured analyzer with manometer functions hey guys thanks for watching this video i know it's longer than normal but if you stuck around to the end you're seeing this part and because of that i want to thank you i also want to ask you to please hit like and leave a comment please if you leave a comment and you like this it'll help the algorithm uh, find content that you like and it'll show you more of it. And I would also appreciate the interactions on my posts so it can help other people find it too. Have a good one.